Okay, a follow-up to my 2018 Prius Prime Plus video. Um, gas mileage, battery range, uh, things that affect the range, uh, the tax credit, and do I still like it? Okay, another thing I get asked over and over again is what is my uh, gas mileage? And since I use so much electricity, that's hard to tell, but 108.1 miles per gallon would be what my uh, spreadsheet has told me from all my usage. Um, it has uh, low to points of 77 miles per gallon on a fill up, 75 to high ones of 155, 176 miles per gallon between fill ups. Um, as we just scroll down through here, 200, a um, lot of probably in town driving and just going between chargers. Uh, the lowest it looks like is this uh, 62 and 61 uh, miles per gallon, uh, except for a trip down to uh, Louisiana, 56.8 miles per gallon. That essentially that whole trip was on the gas engine, and so uh, the whole trip on gas, uh, 56.8 uh, miles per gallon would be the low end. Um, I guess that's a true gas mileage range with the mixed being showing that my ga gas usage can be very little, up to 200 plus miles per gallon. Here, I keep my charge cards in the card. I've got a blink and I've got a charge point. Uh, there are RFID credit cards that allow me to charge, but uh, a lot of the chargers I go to uh, have free charging, which is pretty cool, although it may can be a bit slow. but adds a little bit to get me around town. Okay, to get the energy used for out of the battery uh, based on operating conditions such as temperature, speed, time of year, different things, I set up a, a set piece of road that was about eight miles long and drove it 19 different times at different speeds and different temperatures to then generate uh, the range, battery range used out of the battery, and then to get some graphs over here. The first thing I want to show you is speed versus energy coming out of the battery. If you look here, I have uh, in metric units and the relative energy from the battery. The curve here with uh, each of the 19 runs down this uh, set piece of roadway, and you'll see that there is a quadratic increase where as the vehicle is going faster it requires more energy to travel that same eight mile distance and it, it tends to increase quadratically which would make sense with the uh, aerodynamic properties as as the velocity uh, increases the air drag should quadratically increase and so the battery is having to push out that much more energy to maintain the cruise control at each given speed that I chose to keep running. Uh, the second thing I wanted to show you was the effect temperature has on the battery while using the battery. And room temperature being about right here, so I've got three spots out when it's quite a bit colder, and then the rest of the data was basically at room temperature and above as you can kind of see, there's kind of just a whole cloud of higher energy usage and uh, lower energy usage uh, with each temperature. So temperature while you're running the car doesn't seem to have much effect on the range, where the speed you're traveling definitely does have an effect on the range that you're going to get from the battery. One of the biggest things that affects the range when I charge is the temperature at which I'm charging the battery overnight. The colder the temperature, the less charge the uh, battery will take. The warmer the battery is, up to about 80 or 90 degrees at night, the uh, more charge the battery will take. And so I get more range from the battery during the summer and a lot shorter uh, options during the winter. So how much uh, range can I get on a charge? Like I said, it depends a lot on the temperature, but uh, it will typically be somewhere between 38 
and uh, 55 kilometers which is about 24 to about 32 miles so somewhere between 32 and 24 miles is about what I get uh, on a battery charge and like I said it depends a lot on the temperature uh, which is affected mostly by the time of year I keep getting asked what is my uh, tax credit I got for buying a plug-in this is my form 8936 which uh, has some tables you plug in here from the tables for this battery uh, roughly 8.8 .8, 8 to 8 to 9 kilowatt hours of electricity gives you this four thousand five hundred and two dollars run through some different stuff uh, yes and no's and you come down to this number four thousand five hundred and two dollars it goes to your schedule three the schedule three then attaches and goes into the 1040 and so this is what I got off for my car for my 1040 for my taxes uh, this year was four thousand five hundred and two dollars the other thing that I learned the hard way is that the tires are this P19565R15. That's a high efficiency performance size tire. It's a very specific size. Um, as I learned the hard way, they're not run flats. As I tried to get a replacement tire, I found out that no manufacturer makes run flat tires in this size. It is at a high efficiency performance tire. It's a unique size. Okay, of the questions I keep getting asked over and over, uh, did I pick the right model being with the plus, kind of the base model? And for 2018, I would absolutely say yes. I am glad I went with Prius Prime Plus. And uh, there was not any reason to go to a different model in 2018. In 2019, uh, looking through the specs here, there are some things that are available on the advanced model that uh, could be it if for you if you have the extra money to jump up to the advanced model. And that is the safety features or the convenience safety electronics features. There's automatic parking on this thing. There is better lane control. There is sonar detection for objects around the vehicle. There is cross-traffic uh, monitoring, um, things that can really help you uh, around a parking lot or coming in out of your driveway, um, and just also being on the highway and knowing when and to change lanes and to stay in your lane uh, better. Those would be uh, some worthwhile features if you're going to be driving a lot of mileage um, and or a lot of city driving, uh, if you have the extra money for the advanced. Otherwise, I like my Prius Prime Plus, and uh, that's kind of it. I, you'd either have to go with the base model, my thoughts, or you spend all the way up to the advanced model. I don't see anything in between being uh, worthwhile. There's no spare tire to save weight, and there's also one of the few places to put the battery. So to put the battery pack, that's where it's back here. It's right under here. It's a welded aluminum. A battery pack and that then just creates this small shelf for a small amount of luggage for Ani Come on. to uh, load up. That's all the room back here. I hope that uh, answered any more questions that were about the uh, Prius Prime Plus. If not, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them or anything else, uh, leave it in the comments. Alright, thanks. Alright, Ani. Let's go!